Um, let's scavenge in the forest. Yay! Oh, cool. We. Oh no. Okay, so yeah, I guess you can use your light source. We're not gonna do that because it's still light out. And uh, wow, it's at four percent. Okay, that kind of sucks. Didn't realize that. Okay, so we'll use our botany, and this is gonna bring up a bunch of like water and berries and stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, and if you do play this game, be sure to check and see if they're edible or not, because, uh, see, this one is a handful of poison berries. <laughs> so I probably killed this person. Uh, mushrooms and uh, poison mushrooms and edible mushrooms. See, don't don't have any characteristic difference. So uh, just be careful before you put it in your mouth, because I didn't realize this when I first couple of playthroughs. And I was using my botany skill, just like grab everything, and um, didn't realize it. Didn't get didn't get killed either, which is surprising because I'm sure that that would be that's like a mathematical anomaly. But uh, yeah, I got lucky. Got lucky, man. Got lucky. Um, with the crafting thing, we can go to the forest and make some make some branches. Yeah, see, so we can do this. And apparently I don't have enough turns. Awesome. All right, so we won't do that, I guess. Go back to the thing. Oops, sorry about the sound thing there. Uh, oh, I'm gonna end my turn. All right, ended turn. Even though now we have five, we still get to end our turn. Oh, cool, just illuminated like a whole bunch of area. So, now, let's go to the plains area. Ooh, urban center. Let's, let's hang out in the forest still. I got one move left, so we're just going to scavenge the forest. We'll use some botany. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no useful items in a forest. Haven't I heard that before? I haven't, but you know, I'm sure someone has. Oh, see that that foot thing moved. Okay, so that means I guess that something's coming. I didn't see. I didn't see what popped up above me. Uh, oh, player shivering. Okay, so that just means I need more clothing. As you can see, this thing changed to uh, the player status or whatever changed. So, uh, you know, eventually that is going to kill me. So when this ticks down, it's going to keep on going down. It's going to suck because I think I died once like that. Just once, you know. I'm strong. All right, let's go to the urban center. Let's let's kill it. Let's hide our tracks, and then scavenge. Abandoned apartment building, abandoned office, abandoned apartment. Let's try the office. Scavenge a hex. Due to their nature, office towers weren't primarily looting targets during the food riots. More obvious targets got the most attention. Blah, blah, blah. Later on, astute scavengers realized many offices had bottled water and often kitchens. What's more, the supply closest... Uh, the supply of closets... What? The supply closets often, there we go, <laughs> contains, contain valuable survival tools. The supplies weren't expected to be great, but it's worth a shot. Uh, let's see what that does. Current hex response, scavenge hex. Okay, that, that just scavenges the area. All right, so we'll just do confirm. Yay, more some things. Another first aid bin. And some cornicola that's empty. So we could see how this is a two by six or two by three um, spots. That means that we can obviously put water in here. 
and more disposable plastic bags. A broad spear? That's cool. Keep that. Some cargo pants with nothing in them. Some black cargo... Oh, are those pants? Yeah, pants. Let's see what this does. These are black pants? Yes. Do I get more space? Yes, I do. All right, so... I don't know. Let's get rid of the cargo shorts. Don't need those. Those are 12. Those are 51. All right. Let's go to, back to the cargo shorts. Uh, let's put these back on. God damn it. All right. Let's put these back on. Drop these. We shall take this crap out, apparently. All right. We'll put these in here. This in here. Put a disposable bag in our pocket. Because when you do that, then you can uh, not... If you find... When we eventually find someone, they're going to rob us blind. And I think they tell you to just drop everything that you're carrying. So anything in your pockets does not get dropped. At least that's what I remember. I could be completely wrong with that. Um, that's kind of stupid. Can't put a soda in your pocket. Guess we could put that in my pocket. Let's see if I can use this. Can I use this? Uh, nope, wrong thing. Oh, cool. Okay. Once cheap and ubiquitous, a roadside stops. At roadside stops, these pocket road maps have become something of an archaeological tool for modern scavengers. You carefully unfold the giant leaf. Try to make sense of where you are. What do you say? Locate Detroit. Finish looking at the map. Let's locate Detroit. You recognize Detroit. Awesome. Even if everything else in your memory is missing, as cities goes, it was one of the biggest ones. You trace a route from where you are to the city. See minimap. Confirm. Okay, cool. So I guess I can go to the... Uh, we'll go to the this thing. And, oh look! Detroit Mega City Gates. On the very edge. And that's where we are. Cool. Uh, let's go back to what's on the ground so we can, you guys can watch me play item uh, movement simulator. Oh, God, there's so much crap that I want to take. See, these, these games are not good games to play for me because I'm, I'm somewhat of a high functioning hoarder. And, uh, you know, Having the ability to collect things is, is is really bad because it just my hoarder instinct takes over and I want to like take everything just in case, just in case, just in case. <laughs> All right, so we got some dirty rags. Let's just get rid of those and uh, take the clean rags. And it kind of sucks that we have this second first aid thing, but whatever. Let's put that in there just in case someone finds it. And a and a and a plastic bag, why not? We'll be nice. Can't forget our meat cleaver. And I kinda don't really understand these. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Um We'll just stick with one bottle for now, which really sucks, but whatever. And it looks like we got a one spot for that. Boom. All right, cool. So we got tons of crap now. Um, if, if you get the gist of it, you can pretty much figure out what you need to make things. But if you don't, then obviously you need wood and you need kindling to make a fire. So those small twigs and whatnot are 
usable for that. But you could also use like paper and whatnot, I guess. I don't know. I've, I've never tried it. Never tried it with paper. I always had like small twigs or whatever. So, Looking around you, there appears to be a few areas worth checking out. Shh, that's what she said. All right, so we're going to go to this apartment building. The concrete apartment building looks to be in better shape than most. Sure, the windows are all gone, and a giant fissure run, it runs along one wall. This place looks as if it still could provide suitable shelter for someone. Perhaps that's what makes you feel so nervous about approaching it. <laughs> nope, we're going to loot it. Loot, loot, loot. Get that loot. Ooh, cool. Better conditioned boots. Please, 86. All right. See you later, crappy old boots. Is this the same? Okay, yeah, it just keeps on dropping crap on the ground. Ah, oh, man. Makeshift sack. Jeez. So many cool things to grab. All right, so... We have a, sh a sack now. So why don't we... Oh, crap. I can't... Crap. Of course, you can't pick it up. All right. Of course, you can't put it on your back is what I mean. Can you use it as a shirt? No. Stupid. All right, so we'll put that over there, and we'll put the sack here, and then we'll put the bag here. <laughs> We just have a huge bag of holding. See, like, why can't I put the the freaking crowbar in a in a in a sack? I know that I can put a crowbar in a sack. Like, give me give me a crowbar, and I will show you how to and a big sack, and I will show you how to put that crowbar in that sack. Ugh, dumb. Um, 